Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So I just wanted to apologize about the extreme inconsistency and I know I've been saying this a ton, uh, but I have been doing and dealing with a lot of stuff as of late. Um, something I set my goal to this season is trying to get the world record gene and world record Brock. So we're currently in the morning of day four of the season. So still very early in the season. We currently have a 1250 gene and a 1086 Brock. Now I only need 130 more cups with gene and about 200 and a bit cups with Brock to get to set both world records. Now this is going to take some time, but I am confident we're going to be able to do so. So what we're going to be doing today is showing you guys how we got rank 35 gene. We're going to show you guys some really good matches. Uh, Shoutouts to Jigsaw and Patchy, by the way. They helped me the entire time doing so. Very good players um, and whatnot. But anyways, with that being said, let's hop into the video and let's show you guys how we got rank 35 gene. All right, so going into the first game here, we're going to be going up against a Piper. I forgot what it was, a Piper, a Gene, and a Daryl. Now, this is a really good comp. Um, this is actually, I think we're at about 1235 or 1232 at this game. So we're five or six games away from that rank 35. So with our strategy, we have a Mr. P and a Carl, which are two really good lanes here. Going into the day, I was thinking about going Gene lane because that also works. You guys can see Jig does get taken out over there. But I just, I decide that, you know, I think Gene is the strat. Now at this point, um, I am playing really aggressive because, you know, the matchmaking does take a lot of time. Um, stuff does take a lot of time at this trophy road. We, we One of our matchmaking was like 12 minutes. It was really, really bad. Um, so I played a little bit aggressive. I did die over there. Jig's able to get that kill on the Daryl. But you guys can see Patchy and Jig holding their lanes really well. Um, doing a really fantastic job. Uh, with Gene, something that's very important when pushing on ladders. Just, you know, give people your, your heals. If you have that 1450 shot or not that 1450 shot, sorry, that 400 heals. Just always be giving that to your teammates because it does help a lot. Gonna be able to pull their gene over there. Jigsaw's gonna go for the kill. He should be able to get it. I think I'm able to finish it off right there. And Patchy's gonna be able to finish that Daryl. I'm gonna go and try and get my super now, but at this point, we have really good control. When you have control with this comp, it's really good because you do have that Mr. P Porter. You do obviously have gene pull. There's just a lot that's going right for you guys. And Carl with the buff is a really good brawler. And as you guys are going to see, we're going to be able to pull, pull that, uh, that Piper. And that is very likely going to be game. So something we did a lot is we didn't just back up. We made sure that we got kills. Uh, you don't want to be backed up into a corner as obviously that's not going to help you out at all. Uh, we're able to get a kill over there. Things going really well. And you guys can see we're up there. We're pushing. We're letting them just charge at us because that's what they're going to do. They're just going to absolutely charge at us recklessly. Just don't go in the back of the map because once you go to the back of the map for no reason, there's 15 seconds left. You let them all, you know, kind of converge on to you and then you're trapped in a corner with nowhere to go that is how you lose games and that is when things go really really poorly so that's going to be the first game we're at 12 35 so we go to 12 38 let's hop into the next game and let's keep things going okay so here we go into the next game we're going to be going up against another gene a mortis and a bb so personally i think pam might be the best mid on this map uh pam does counter gene a little bit because a Pam is a little bit buff, so you can't just pull a max health Pam and just expect to get that kill. You gotta have a teammate beside you or something. As well as the fact that Pam does have a turret, Pam does have heals. So, you know, the heals does obviously help Pam a lot. And the turret does block that pull. So over here, you guys can see I have my pull. The opposite Gene has his pull. And he's doing a pretty good job of keeping distance right now. I try and go for an aim pull, which is a little bit more difficult, obviously, than those auto aim pulls. Doesn't go well. I'm going to miss it. Myself and Patchy are both going to be taken out by a Mortis. A Mortis is actually really good in this meta. So I would highly recommend you guys start, you know, sharpening up your Mortis skills and for real playing Mortis because it's actually not that bad. I'm able to get a kill on that BB over there and I'm able to as well pull that Gene. Now, I didn't know that I was going to be low on health, but I did assume that my teammates were going to do fine and get the kill. So that was a good kill on our end over there. Now, the Mortis picks up the gems, which is something you never want to do as a Mortis. Now, the Mort did have to do it in that situation, but if you can avoid it, definitely do so as you can't go aggro with a more and then you basically just become useless now i'm able to hit a really good pull over there and you guys can see we are backing up but we're still trying to hit shots i'm using my pull on that gene if there's a gene with pull very likely he's gonna go for you and try and get that kill so you definitely want to go pull him and you guys can see we're not retreating we're just going for these kills over there patchy gets the one shot so i just pull that mortis away but you guys can see we're using stuff like that mr p porter and turret as a body block just doing stuff like that is really really important and you know it is really hard actually that with, with this comp because bb and mortis does actually counter our comp a little bit as they do have some really really good aggression but we're still able to get the win so again 1238 moves to 1241 you only get three cups per win let's hop into the next game and let's keep going 
All right, so here we go into the next game. So we're going to be going up against Penny, Jackie, and Mortis. So Mortis being one of the hard counters, Penny also being a hard counter to Gene, and then Jackie does counter Mr. P. Uh, Mr. P, by the way, I haven't made a video since the balance changes came out. I believe Mr. P is going to be one heck of a strong brawler. The brawlers that Mr. P did get countered by did get nerfed. So Mr. P, even though he only got a slight buff, is actually also indirectly buffs by all these other brawlers so i would definitely recommend playing mr p and getting better at mr p i'm able to pull that penny over there now the game does become a little bit of a hassle when miss when penny does get super um but you know it doesn't have it yet so we're trying to do well patchy goes afk don't really know what patchy's doing over there but jigsaw is going to get hit a couple times charging that penny turret and then i'm going to get hit one more time and as you guys can see jackie does counter mr p so jackie's just able to take out that porter really easily their mortis is doing a great job jig just spins on it um, able to get the gems able to get the kill but i'm going to be sniped by that penny so now the score is five to three i believe we have two gems in spawn we do um and this is where the game becomes a little bit interesting luckily the penny goes way too aggro i'm able to get a kill over there i'm going to knock back that jackie i think i go down actually no i don't go down over here the mortis does and we have enough hp just to get these kills there's one gem left and we're able to pick it up now we got really lucky in this game actually because the penny just like it didn't really play it properly you know they had some really good mid con uh mid control and if the penny just properly hid behind the turret i wouldn't have been able to get that pull you know things wouldn't have been happening really well and we would have just probably lost that game because penny is a really good counter and you know the control plus their counter lanes it really would not have gone well for us but either way we're able to get a win we're going to move from 1241 to 1244 now unfortunately I very much despise this about the game and now I know it's not Brawl Stars fault it just happens but sometimes the replays don't save so we do not have the replay from 1240 uh, from 1244 to 1247 we did win that game kind of in the same fashion as these ones we won in a minute and a half like a 10 to a nothing uh, to an 11 nothing win um, but unfortunately we don't have the game so what we're gonna do for you guys is move on now to the final game the rank 35 game and this was one just crazy crazy game definitely the best for last with that being said let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what happened okay so here we go into our final game now we're facing a rico a mortis and a nani now let me tell you something about pushing when pushing rank 35s it is difficult but the comps you seem to always lose to the most are just the random comps that don't make sense so these guys don't really have a mid they don't really have a strategy my best guess to be honest is that they're randoms and that you know they just readied up and played together uh you know we're doing well at the start um patchy picks up the gems now something i i said i was in a voice call when i was grinding because i have nothing better to do waiting and matching for 10 seconds is oh no patchy has the gems we are going to lose this game patchy gem scarrier is gem carrier is one of the scariest things in the game because patchy just always seems to lose all the gems somehow so anyways we're doing a really good job it's six to nothing right now patchy picks up another gem seven nothing we have good control jig's doing a good job on his lane three to two on the field right now i got my pull things are going well um jig's gonna go for a play he's not gonna be able to get the kill but i'm gonna be able to kill the mortis currently eight to nothing right now nani does get his first super um so we're chilling i'm able to pull that rico now the nani super is coming in it's slowly coming in uh, it goes around, which is actually a really good play, and then bam, it takes out Jigsaw and um, it takes out Jigsaw and Patchy, and I missed my pull because of Mortis Dash, so now I'm scared. They got nine gems. The score is nine to one, and they get reset, or they get the countdown. Fortunately, Jigsaw and Patchy both able to get the kills. Now, Patchy does have the gems again, which I am, of course, very afraid of. I think I'm very close to my pull here. Patchy is getting attacked by this Mort over here. I go to help out Patchy. Obviously, don't want him to die. Jig's able to get a kill, so it's currently eight to five so something that we're lucky with is that the rico can't go aggro over here he's very low in health jig's doing a great job he's able to kill the nani i'm trying to stay beside patchy because i don't want patchy to die i want to give patchy my heals and such and the score right now is eight to eight it's super close um we're able to finally get the kill over there i'm going to go for a pull and i'm barely gonna miss but still a miss on that mortis so the mortis is able to pick it up that could have ended it um jigsaw is just running around trying to get hit by that nani super over there He's not well. He wasn't really able to. Instead, a wall just breaks, which really isn't the worst thing in the world. Patchy's able to get a kill over there. We have some really good pressure. We're gonna pinch this Nani over here. I'm pretty sure that Mortis is dealing with Mr. P's uh, Porter. Uh, we need one more gem. Rico's got super. Rico almost full drills me, except he's not able to get the kill. We have countdown. We run back. A very, very, very scary game. 
but we're gonna just barely take this one 11 to 10 one more second they would have had the bolt spawn is that and that one is going to give us rank 35 now these guys are complete randoms the nani literally had 363 cups um but that is going to give us our rank 35 gene but now this is not it the goal is to try and break world record which is a 1380 gene it's going to be a little bit tough, but you know, that's our goal. That's what we're going to try and do. And in the same season, we're also going to try and get world record box. With that being said, that's going to be all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, comment, do what you guys always do. But anyways, that's going to be it. I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.